Here's Dwyer with the first carry. The B-back, as they call it at Georgia Tech, picks up seven. A in punts. Second down and three, and Dwyer takes it. Hammers forward for the first down, breaks a tackle, and he's in open spaces. Cuts it back, has blockers, but he's caught from behind. Down around the 15-yard line. Has bit. Gives Dwyer a breather. Haven't seen Anthony Allen carry the football yet for the Yellow Jackets, and he's a blocker right now. Again, this is just too easy. It's another first down, and that's Roddy Jones. First and goal. And that's Lyons, the backup B back. Second and goal. Double tight end set. There's the pitch back. Good pursuit there by the Vandy defense. Roddy Jones goes down. Broder on behind Nesbitt. Nesbitt keeps it himself and rambles in for a four-yard touchdown. Just like that, Yellow Jackets on the board. 120 pounds, hard to bring down. Good blocking, Roddy Jones. We got a nice push on the outside from Anthony Al. Once again, that crossing in the backfield, that's five or more on first down, really sets up this offense. Great fake to Dwyer. The pitch back to right. Tackles, missed tackles by the opponents. Nesbitt keeps it himself. It'll bring up fourth down. They need about a yard and a half. Nesbitt keeps it himself. And it really depends on the mark. I think Fence of Paul Johnson, who calls all the plays. A late pitch to Jones. Second down. Just getting back to the line of scrimmage was Marcus Wright down. You know they will. Third and four. First pass of the night for Nesbitt on the outside, and that gets batted down. Virginia replayed the other night on CSS as I was doing homework for this game. Completed pass on the outside, and Demarius Thomas, what a weapon. Big delays in this first quarter as they go to the replay booth. Setting up the pitch. Oh, that's pretty. That is really pretty. Causing the Vandy defender to jump over him. Second and short. Nesbitt keeps it himself for what appears to be a first down, and it is. They need to get better. Yeah, they, they have some improving to do, but pretty impressive to this point. Another pass. Oh, wide open to Embry Peep. A rare second and long for Georgia Tech, especially amidst this five-game winning streak. Or defense well by Vandy. Marcus right in the right position, and they were. Nesbitt his fourth pass of the night. Going high is Demarius Thomas. Pulling that down. In. Kind of chilly, but it certainly feels like football weather. And Georgia Tech back in the attack. Dwyer haven't called his name since early in the lead 14-7. Yellow Jackets looking to answer. Again, Dwyer moves forward. Third down and four. Nesbitt keeps it himself. Falls over as Georgia Tech has rolled up. Big victories, putting them in control to win their division in the ACC as Dwyer gets thrown. Nesbitt falls forward very close to the goal line. No signal, so he's just shy. 12th play of the drive. And it's a touchdown. Nesbitt, his second touchdown of the night. That's Dwyer right up to Pike. Big splits on the offensive line. Dwyer goes forward. Sometimes they open those lanes. Nesbitt wide open and tripped up was Embry Peoples. First down in Vandy territory now. Nesbitt keeps it himself, puts that shoulder down, and gets a first down. Well, this is just about an inch away. 
And Dwyer moves forward for the first down. He's shutting out Steve Spurrier in South Carolina. Nesbitt going off that arm to a wide open. Demarius Thomas, 35-yard strike. Fouls on the sidelines as Josh Nesbitt back at it. That's Dwyer right up the middle. Came in those five wins for Tech. Dwyer getting close to 100 yards already in this first half. As he breaks a tackle and breaks it into the end zone. Done yet. Here's Allen's first carry of the night. Puts his head down and gets thrown backwards. Nesbitt looking for Thomas, who was open. Yeah, that wasn't too pleasant. Third down in the draw play. That'll put Dwyer over 100 yards for the night. It'll be tough. Jonathan Dwyer has gone over 100 yards in this first half. Nesbitt gets hemmed up, but then still moves forward for three. Third down, Nesbitt gets the first down. Nesbitt to his favorite receiver, Thomas. Hard to be as efficient at stopping the clock as you'd like in those situations. And the draw to Dwyer. It has been a good night for the seconds remaining in the second quarter in Nashville. Back to Dwyer, who gets the first down. It's on the teams tonight for each of them. Nesbitt looks long, has a man open, and overshoots him on the outside, Quentin Sims. Nesbitt with lots of room to run or pass. And has his man, Marius Thomas, did the ball bounce? Versions now. 52% of the season for Georgia Tech, and that ball gets knocked down. T.J. Greenstone, who is certainly in control of this offense in the first half, and Dwyer was absolutely huge. 14 carries, 117 yards. And there goes Dwyer tacking on even more. That's a big one. That is a really big one. He's off to the races. Brought down from behind at the 22-yard line. First and 10. Howard and Barrick is that offensive line. Undersized, but boy, they're perfect for this offense. Preston Lyons. It was a tough one, let me tell you. And that should give him the first down as Nesbitt keeps it. Nesbitt puts his head down. They can still get a first down without scoring. Nesbitt goes behind Dwyer, loses okay. the football. Commodore said they have it. Still no signal as they clear the pile. And it is Commodore's football. Scoring for Georgia Tech just haven't got there yet. Great fake to Dwyer in the pitch to the outside peoples. Into the locker room. Nesbitt keeps it himself and gets close to the first down. Third and short, and that should give him the first down, and it does. Sideline. Nesbitt with the pitch. Oh, boy, they had that defense perfectly. Dwyer went down at that time, and they quickly took him out of the game. Nesbitt, first pass in the second and a half, complete. Demarius third and about a yard and a half. There's the quick pitch back. 
And a first down, Roddy Jones. Getting very close to their average on the season. Dwyer spins off a tackle and just keeps those legs churning. Picks. Nesbitt keeps it himself. Pitch back. Jones trying to stretch to that marker. A yard. And we have all sorts of people jumping on both sides. It's a dead ball offside. The defense made contact. The penalty is half a distance to the goal. The yard is results in a first down. Dwyer lines up right behind Nesbitt. Takes the handoff. And steamrolls into the end zone for another touchdown, his second of the night. And in this direction, has Vandy going the wrong way. Right half. And Dwyer shoots through his third touchdown of the night. On defense. His big line splits again. Nesbitt wide open. And the connection. People outruns everyone for an 87 yard touchdown. Put up huge numbers. Another pitch to the outside. A good tackle on Jonathan Dwyer. Actually closer to six on that carry. Preston Lines back in there now. Here they come, a little misdirection. Vandy does a nice job stringing out Roddy Jones. Chris Marv, another time. Johnson this week, he said that's the biggest misconception that we're not a big play offense. And the numbers dispel that rumor in a big way. He almost took offense to that, yeah. didn't he? Formations, misdirection. There's Dwyer again, pumping those legs. Lines, lines up behind Nesbitt. And they've run this play over and over again, and this one leads to Roddy Jones getting close to the goal line, but no signal. It is a touchdown. Uh, Dwyer and Nesbitt. And Preston Lyons. When Nesbitt was out. Breaking tackles and running hard. You see a lot of success from a lot of different people. Cutting back, getting some blocks. Orwood Smith. Shaw on third down. And a quarterback draw. Gets close to the first down marker. It's with the schedule that they play and the way that they've handled that schedule to this point. Score touchdowns, eight touchdowns tonight for this Georgia Tech offense. And when you're not able to get the ball back, not, uh, I don't think there's anybody that's quite as fast in the ACC. But uh, as you mentioned, have some trouble. And that would be a rematch. And the pitch back. Orland Smith. All of the hitting and took a toll on those guys. Shaw scrambles for a first down. Southeastern Conference team in Starkville. And they have dismantled this Vandy team tonight. They are on a roll, it's fun to watch.